Welcome to the Creative, Creative Show. Show. I'm your host today. My name is Nishma Nepal, and we have uh, Master Shri Akashna. <laughs> Next, I'll go this way. Christina Sintron or Sintron? Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> what what accent was that? Oh, uh, Spanish. Oh, yes. nice. Spanish. Nice. Mm-hmm. Spanish. And? Oh, Scuba Steve. Uh, Scuba Steve. We or nearly didn't know who you were today because you weren't wearing the T-shirt. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the t-shirt. Yeah, he, actually he, he usually wears a T-shirt with his name on. Mm-hmm. So. It's, and it was, <laughs> Just in case. It, it's funny, too, because like, I remember the first time that I ever saw one of these shows. Um, Lim was doing it. And actually, I think we were together. And uh, I was watching. I was like, I'm going to be on that show one day. Like, I don't know when, how, but like, I just know I'm going to do it. And I, I just imagine, like, I got to make sure I got my little Scuba Steve bangles on oh and all that God. stuff. And this morning, I was... Having my hair done. <laughs> Getting your hair did. <laughs> hair done. And I remember thinking about that because yesterday we ended up shooting, um, you know, a video. And oh I thought, yeah. it's going to be a short day because I was agonizing over, do I wear my shirt? Do I not wear my shirt? I was like, ah, it'll be a short day. We won't be doing anything. I don't wear a shirt. Show up here and Master goes, uh, we're going to do a live show today. <laughs> Steve? So, so that's a pretty cool manifestation, huh? Yeah. That well, actually, it's to be careful. Like, um, Really be careful what you manifest. Like, why is it bad you on the show? Or? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> but you, you've got to make sure that that every like you have everything lined up because I don't have my shirt on. No, so oh yeah, <laughs> so I, have I the wasn't answer. specific enough. <laughs> you just have to come back again. Oh, well, yeah, we could do that. Well, that's the only answer. Right? I like that idea. <laughs> How did you get your haircut anyway? How? Yeah. I, everybody. I, I, uh, everybody's intrigued. And then I was yeah, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's hair is like wild right now. Wild. I know. No. I even did a post actually. Um, I threw out on Facebook because I thought it would be fun, like getting a bunch of engagement on, uh, like I did a hashtag, what was it? Corona cuts. And, corona cuts. And Corona <laughs> beers <laughs> and whatever it was. Have you corona seen the disasters style. out there? Oh, People there's so many. Yeah. Disasters. People trying to cut their own hair. It's like hashtag That's Corona crazy. cut. I did Imagine it with though. like a pair of clippers in my hand so that people would have thought that I did it myself. And then would try it and then show me their pictures, but it didn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was contemplating. Oh, my God. No, I think it, it, lockdown drives people crazy, no? I know, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look in the mirror every day, you're like, no, and something needs to be done. And then you start looking on Amazon for the, yeah, the clippers. Like, hmm. So how do I do the back? And you think, oh, maybe I'll buy two mirrors with it and, <laughs> and try and figure something out. <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't really um, actually feel like a lockdown to me because we've been so busy. We've just been indoors the whole time, just working. Yeah. And no, but, no, but bear in mind, Without lockdown, you usually lock yourself in your room anyway. Uh, (laughs) 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 Why would you do that? So let's put that into context first. This is coming from the introvert who usually locks herself inside her room every single day. So yeah, to me, there's there's no difference pretty much. (laughs) Everybody who's listening to this, it's not been locked down? Where where, where have you been living? (laughs) But now you're busier in your room. Yeah, Yeah. I'm more busier. And apparently you're out today. Oh yeah, well it's we're still working, so yeah. still, working, <laughs> still indoors. Still you know? <laughs> but nice. yeah. Oh, I was actually gonna say when you started talking about the manifestation, I was like, Steve, you took my line because <laughs> I was gonna say that actually because when I was watching the show, that that was in my head. So when I first um, uh, decided that I'm gonna come here to UK, I was like, you know what? For s- for some reason, I was like, I'm gonna be that on that show. First, you know, I just had that feeling inside me, but I didn't know I was gonna be <laughs> hosting it for the first time. <laughs> And uh, to awesome. those of you who don't know, like I'm, I'm like we mentioned, I'm an introvert, so I'm not really as good at talking. So this is really me stepping out of my comfort zone and doing things that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. So applause. like, <laughs> uh, not, to, not, not to forget, she also ran a webinar yesterday. Oh yeah, oh, that was uh, um, over 100 people uh, wow. teaching people. I was um, shaking and I was really nervous, but I just, you know what? I, I just went for it and yeah, went with the flow. But it went well. It went pretty well. You and awesome. you guys have a webinar coming up too. So mm-hmm. yes, are you guys uh, interested? Well, the first one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it'd be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just an inside joke. Like, I, uh, I don't know why, for some reason, whenever I say, are you guys excited? Instead of excited, I say, are you guys interested? <laughs> so that was just an inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> do, you know, do you know yesterday, the two girls, um, two girls, Kaina and Nishma, oh, yeah. they... <laughs> so in the car going home, I was kind of like, okay, cool. So now, so webinar, webinar is complete. Okay, have you guys done the replay sequence? And uh, oh, you need to launch ads. Oh, maybe next next week you need to do another webinar, and then we'll plan a webinar a week and things like that. And then silence. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? Like, it's 
say something are we do you, do you have you done it are you going to do it email sequences and things and then suddenly about a few minutes later it's like oh by the way me and Kaina were, d- were discussing we should eat cheesecake tonight and watch a movie <laughs> <laughs> and I was like what what does that mean he's like oh is that, is that like celebrating because we did one webinar it's, like, it's so fun First yeah. webinar, so we have to celebrate and we had to do something, you know. So, don't you guys agree? So, so <laughs> I like that idea. I so, so this <laughs> if it's dessert, I'm in. <laughs> do, do, do you know what's really funny as well? Uh, a few days ago, she, she said to me, She said, ah, Well, Fiogi's gonna be over uh, just one more week. Oh, I can't wait for it to be over. I'm like, well, So, what will, ch- what, what will change when it's over? She says, Oh, I just like, oh, I can do my dancing <laughs> my wire. and i was like wait there a second no 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 you know when wealth yogi is here it's actually been most much this is the calmest time we've been i said once wealth yogi is finished we got to do real work i said there's a lot of work we need to do and she said what <laughs> i said you're gonna work 10 times harder this is only the beginning yeah uh, yeah but, you, but you've been through she's been through a big change though uh, from Definitely. somebody who locks in the room doing nothing <laughs> mm-hmm. to doing something yeah well that's why i'm here like that's why i took the step to actually you know because i was so tired of living the same lifestyle mm. back in toronto just you know not getting results just not feeling happy with myself so i was like you know i have to do something i need to get out of this environment so if you're in the same environment every single time it's just it's not going to help mm-hmm. you right if it's not making you feel any good so that's what i did i'm like you know what i want to grow i'm going to push myself get out there like throw myself in an uncomfortable situation um yeah like this one <laughs> like talking <laughs> hosting for the first time but that's what helps you grow yeah. so yeah. i mean that's I, where i, I am I, right I now i don't, don't know how you guys have been finding the um like the program and actually seeing what what is done behind the scenes and everything like how extreme it is it to you guys because for m- i mean for me it's very normal because it's been like 10 years of my life has been non-stop it's, it's like that right and observing someone like Nishma has been an interesting process for me because it's been, it, it's almost like, okay, so you got normal human, then you've got hardworking human, then you've got like, maybe like superhuman mm-hmm. or like, you know, you get what I'm saying? It's, it's like next, 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 next mm-hmm. level because where, when obviously spending time with Nishma, I've been, I've been finding, oh, she, she, she's talking about how she's been pushing herself. She's been pushing herself. From my perspective, it's kind of like, uh, you haven't started yet. You, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, oh, this is like, oh, yeah, it's it's okay. You know, you, you haven't pushed yourself yet. So I'm just thinking, mm-hmm. what about from you guys? You know, I mean, from you guys came from jobs and and you know. And yeah. Well, I think I think it's mindset. So once you make up your mind that you're going to make a change, whether you're coming from the corporate world where you have a crazy schedule, and you know, my dilemma was I think a bit different in terms of what I wanted to do. Um, and that is, you know, very fulfilled in my career, but feeling like there was something missing. But, you know, I'd open up my eyes at 4.30, start to think about what my day was going to be, um, had a load of things that I would do at home, be on the road at 6.30, be at work by 7, and go my day long or go traveling. It was crazy, crazy days, but something was missing. So whether or not I might have been used to a bit of a hustle, yeah. This is a different hustle, so I'm learning something yeah, new. For sure. Someone that didn't necessarily had a hustle, but they <laughs> knew and they were pushing themselves to do something. I think then that's where it's still new for them. It's a it's a different way of life. It's a different um, a different path that you're looking to be on. So there's not necessarily a school that can prepare you for all of this. Work ethic, I think, is tremendously mm-hmm. important. Yeah, but beyond mm-hmm. that, I think it's the mindset that you know that this is what you want to do, and it pushes you through. So, like your why behind it, mm-hmm. and then knowing that so, you'll so, be able so, to do it. So, do you do you think, Christina, that um, before before coming here, like like w- w- with your with your past work, it was it was already a lot of work. Like it was really mm-hmm. really yeah you, yeah. you 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 need a lot of energy for it, mm-hmm. a lot of long long hours mm-hmm. and things like that. So you yeah. already you so you used to the, the hard work part isn't the part. It isn't. So part. for you, it's more about change change and the, the what is the work to do because oh. now it's it's different mm. so where there could be any emergency that would come up okay this is what we need to do now it's the I light is not to, working yeah. what to do i don't know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's just a different you know in a different eye for yeah. some of these things that only come with experience only come with time only come with being able to shadow someone that's been doing it for yeah. years to really understand you know, what is it that it takes in order to be successful? How do you really yeah. find within yourself the best way to contribute and really give to others yeah. and do that in a way that 
is pleasing to your heart yeah. and you feel good about it, but you're still working so hard, yeah. but it still feels good. Yeah, I, th I think that's a that's a good perspective to come from then because mm -hmm. uh, long hours have be already been there, hard workers have already been there. Now we're talking about um, a deeper purpose, mm -hmm. right? One serving a greater purpose. Actually, life gets easier. It feels like it, you're not working as hard, mm -hmm. even, right? Yeah. Because yeah. that's because that's how like from my perspective, that's how I find it. You know, like I don't. It goes nonstop every single day, nonstop meeting them, meeting them, meeting them, meeting you. Know, you know how Angela is. She's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. And then by the time it, it's like, oh, it's night again. It's like, oh, sleep. And then wake up and it's like, okay, meetings. And then mm -hmm. every single day is the same thing. And it's like, on this show, that show, do this video, do that, and then do this. And then what happens is you blink and then it's like, oh, they're bringing the Christmas tree out again. You see, and it's like, <laughs> like, it's like, why, why, why is it Christmas every three days? You know, yeah. it's like that, you know. But, but then, and then what happens is it's like, oh, by the way, y y do you realize you're like you're ten years older now? It's like <laughs> how you know? Yeah. People ask you how, how old are you? I can't remember. Twenty one, twenty two. It's just like it's like blink and then it all all pass like that. You see. Yeah. But but I, I personally I don't feel it's hard work because I, I, it's used to it body mm -hmm. is used to it mm -hmm. yeah. what about yeah, you Steve? i think for me um it, it it's similar but but different like uh, same, I, same but different yeah, <laughs> same thing but different yeah um no so so the hard work was there um but it, it's different now though like i mean it's hard work but it, it it feels familiar to me in in the sense that there were times in my life that to get to where i was um because like you mentioned we quit jobs like i had a really successful career and mm -hmm. and the kind of like i mean there's people probably would have killed to have my job like mm -hmm. literally i mean it was a really sweet gig mm -hmm. um and comfortable but i just was not happy like i just on a daily basis i would wake up not happy and i didn't have a reason i just wasn't um and so because it wasn't fulfilling some need yeah exactly but i just it, it something i've known my entire life was that i was different in some way i always knew that i thought different i always knew that um i like I recognize that I could typically do more. Or I knew more. Or I learned faster. And um, one of the things that I took on really, really young, actually, um, when I was a teenager, somebody pointed out to me, they were like, something you need to focus on and, and really take advantage of is the fact that, like, most people don't learn from their own mistakes. You mm -hmm. learn from other people's mistakes. And that's a huge advantage that you need to take advantage of. So... Um, Somebody said that to you. Yeah, when, when I was a kid. Whoa. Oh, wow. Because I didn't, well, so like. Uh, my I don't even remember. Who <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. What, who said to me? I was really, f like, I was really fortunate growing up in, in I, I, I could look at it both ways. I was really unfortunate growing up. Like, if, if I just compare myself to the masses, it was really tough growing up. Poor family, oldest of four. I got kicked out when I was a teenager. Like, it was, it was oh, a hard wow. life. Hmm. But, uh, and my old man was never around. Hmm. But I was fortunate in the in the fact that throughout my life, um, like male father figures would would step in, like mm -hmm. whether we were a teacher or landlord or whatever mm -hmm. it was, um, and I would be forced to like maybe work with him for a day as punishment for something stupid <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's now you've got everybody in tree. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he do? What, what happens? I don't know how many of those I could actually talk on this show about. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> But but yeah, like they they would give no, me Christina's really. Christina's giving that nervous laugh. As yeah, well. like <laughs> wait, what don't when, I know about you? When, when, when we go home today. Uh, <laughs> oh, and by the way, for uh, if you guys don't know, this um, they're a power couple right here. <laughs> just 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 That's to let you guys know. Laugh as well. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, they're a power I'm watching him turn. We are. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> by the way, they're it's a power sunburned. couple. Can you see me turning red? Yes. <laughs> No, no, you guys are amazing, honestly. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so let's get back on track here. Uh, so the hard work uh, is, it's not the same level of work coming out of my career, but it, it, it's reminiscent of sacrifices I've made in my life to get to where I wanted to be. And so the, the biggest shift for me, or, or challenge maybe, um, is it, it's always been myself, super hard on myself. And mm -hmm. fortunately, I have someone to remind me about, like, like I can pause and turn around and look and see how far that I've come. So at least I can feel better about where I'm at mm -hmm. because I'm always comparing myself to what I believe is the best, like who's the best. So in this case, in this new endeavor that I'm on, <laughs> I compare myself to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so there's a really long journey to get to that level of mastery. So until I'm there, it's always like, I'm never enough. I'm never good enough. I don't mm -hmm. have it. I can't do it. I fight that all the time. Yeah. Like you feel it in a negative way or in a motivating way? 
Yeah. These are two things, kind right? Of, kind people, of both, though, actually. Because yeah. like, cause I'm used to, I'm very used to, um, again, as, as a child, one thing that, and, and I've overcome this, actually. I, I went through a lot of work to, to get rid of this feature. <laughs> um, but I learned how, my own perspective as a, as a child, how I classified like bad emotions as being useless. So being mm -hmm. sad, crying, depressed, they were all useless. They didn't serve me. Mm -hmm. And out of that, I figured out like a switch. I figured out how to shift any one of those instantly into anger. Not that mm -hmm. anger is a great thing, but I can channel anger. I can do something with that, oh, right? Interesting. So, so you mean anger towards motivation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything like any it, it, it if I shifted it to anger, I could then utilize anger as motivation to do something, mm -hmm. which like the stories you were just curious about of dumb things that I did when I was a kid. A lot <laughs> of it, it came from that because I would shift into anger and then I would need to channel you know, like it. Break through a door first. Or rip, I've done that kind of stuff. I've torn a fence down. <laughs> yeah, I put my hands through things and yeah, <laughs> smashed a lot of glass, <laughs> destroyed countless pumpkins. Oh my gosh. Thrown I don't know how many dozens of eggs. We're going to stop telling I stories just, right just, now. You have I stories just, about that too, don't no, you? I, I was just like. <laughs> I just had this uh, vision of, uh, remember Game of Thrones, the last episode? Khaleesi oh, going yeah, we don't want to. No dragon. spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> riding <laughs> on the dragon, destroying the oh, whole. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to. We don't want to. <laughs> you know that last episode where she's going through the city and she destroys the whole entire. Did empire. you just. <laughs> <laughs> for those who haven't watched it i just like yeah, yeah that's no that's not, what happens. that's not what happens <laughs> that amazing queen uh, <laughs> destroyed everything <laughs> but anyway i just had that vision of so <laughs> well, well thank you yeah sitting on the dragon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's it's, it's and i'm behind so sorry so sorry yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> she, she sweeps up after yeah. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 an interesting challenge. Like what's different the for me the the hardest part I think because there's been a lot of really big challenges. Um, but it's it's going from something that you've mastered. So like I come from a place of mastery where, um, as an architect, like I had a lot of respect. Where like not just in people would come to me. Um, for input or to solve problems, help troubleshoot things and, and get resolved really, really quickly. But like outside of, of where I worked, like the community in, in technology, right? Like I was well-respected where I worked, outside of work, by my peers, by my, uh, my supervisors and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. leaving that because you told me to <laughs> 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 and then jumping into something that I really felt like an infant. Like I was, I was literally starting kindergarten all over again. And here I am like midlife putting all my faith in you and this and you and like the, all the wealth yogis, everything like it's, it's a huge challenge. So to maintain that on a daily basis is mm -hmm. really, really tough. And, and, but to do it with the, I, what I consider my family now, the wealth yogis, like, to share every day mm -hmm. stories with each other, to help each other, to inspire each other, to share gratitude every morning, like those sorts of things, just constant reminder. It really, really makes a, a huge difference. Yeah. And now we're coming up on seeing some of the culmination of our work, right? I mean, we've seen productivity. We've seen how we make money. <laughs> 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 yeah, we see, um, and here we are we're on here. the show. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, but, you know, we can see, I think both of us, you know, like we can see what's, what's right in front of us mm. and the magnitude of that isn't anywhere near where we want to be, but it's so much bigger than what I thought would happen. Mm. Mm. Like just the expectation and knowing that that's, what's going to happen. Yeah. It's, uh, a lot of self-motivation, mm. but uh, you know, the challenge is different for everybody. Yeah. For me, yeah. it's very personal. Like I'm hard on myself. You, you recently left your job. Christina also <laughs> yep. recently left your same, same time. Mm -hmm. Same time, left your job. You. I left, left my job too. A few months, <laughs> a few months or something, isn't it? Yeah. Back, yeah, right? yeah. So you all come from a very similar thing of leaving yeah. a job. Your yeah. one was many years. How many Twenty-one years, years in 21 one career. Twenty-one years. Yeah. In one job. Well, one career. Oh that wow, one job. that's yeah. crazy. I thought you were only twenty-five. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> and 
how many years? About the same, about 20 years in my Whoa, career. Whoa, yeah. you two are hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> so we're 22. You know, we start in two years. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> yeah, as, yeah. As soon as we were able to talk, we started working. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Nishma, uh, only baby. <laughs> <laughs> two years. Well, so. the thing is, um, I'm, I, I left not my job, but even university because mm. I was still, I was doing a course that I wasn't really enjoying and I was repeating the same thing over and over again. It was and just what was like, that? I was doing um, digital media, so it's a lot of... Why, it's why were you not enjoying it? I thought you were a creative mind. I am. Well, the thing about this program is it, it was a new program that they introduced in my university, and um, we were like guinea pigs. So mm. our batch was like guinea pigs, so they were introducing new courses uh, every year. But I was interested for the art side of it, but in that program, there were a lot of um, programming and all the engineering and all of math. It was, it was too much for me, and I mean, I did enjoy it, a lot of the artsy stuff and engineering, like hands-on, like doing projects. Mm -hmm. So those I really enjoyed. So, so you, but you, you, you dropped out, right? I I mean, now I came here. When I got this opportunity to come to UK, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me put that on hold. And I came here. Oh, you mean you were still studying? I was still, yeah. Oh. I was still finishing up. Um, like I still had a year left. But oh. I, I was still considering changing my program, to be mm -hmm. honest. I really didn't want to push through. Um, cause I was like, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. Like, and I, th I felt like I was going to waste another year doing this program and not, you know, yeah. so. And, and, and what, what, what about the job you were doing? Cause you were teaching. I was dancing. doing, yeah. So I was doing two jobs, actually three, if I count my family job, but I was doing uh, teaching dance on mm -hmm. the side and a part-time job at an office. So mm -hmm. as an admin, so I was working in the college, um, admissions office and then helping my family business. So we have a salon. So my mom, she's uh, she's mm -hmm. the beauty shin. She does all the hairstyling and beauty and makeup and all so that. She so she can cut your hair. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not me. <I'm> just <laughs> <laughs> my mom can, but <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I so, yeah. So you you were so you were teaching dance. Yeah. I remember you saying something about you weren't enjoying what you're doing. Oh, with dance. But you enjoy dance. I, I love dancing. So what was the thing about... What, um, why, so so why would that not be the, oh, okay, I'll just teach dance for the rest of my life. What, what was the... Well, the thing is because I was um, in a company and um, in Toronto, uh, I was the assistant director. So what I enjoy is dancing right but because we were managing the whole team and it was not just about dancing but it was like the whole the managing side of things that we have to make sure that the team is you know like everybody is mm -hmm. doing their work properly and um just the whole managing side and on top of things there on top of it there were just too much work piling up um not i was like i'm here to just dance and <laughs> teach but this okay, too okay. much yeah. things kept piling so up so yeah one. That's uh, yeah. not, uh, not the entrepreneur role. <laughs> That's uh, I do the fun stuff part. And no, hopefully well, somebody else can do the admin part. No, it's not. It's not about that. There were some dramas too, so I was like, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so avoid the dramas, you know. Yeah. So avoid the negativity. I would say when right. I started seeing the negativity, that's when I was like, this is not for me. All it's flashing in my head is dance moms <laughs> and <they're> yelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's pretty much right. <laughs> but I left all that and I'm here now. So all good. <laughs> was it, was it, so that was easy for you. What like do you the, mean? To, to take a step like that was easy for you. Just to say, oh, I'm, I'm out and I'm going to try oh, something it, else. Oh, it wasn't really easy because I was still in the team because they were, I was still helping them out because they, they still think that I'm going to um, come back. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm still a part of the Sorry team. if they're watching this. Uh. No, no, no. <laughs> way, I'm Guys. Just never going back now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going away to an emergent program. I'll be back in 90 plus days. <laughs> like, Is that what all of you said to your bosses? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, what did I say? <laughs> what did I, don't, you I don't even remember. I'm trying to remember. I think I... I think I inquired about. Um, I wrote your letter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, why that's why I can't remember. Know what he said? <laughs> <laughs> she said it. So. <laughs> Christina. Sorry, Christina. What did I say? Yeah. <laughs> it so, was very so lovely. What did I, yeah, it was really eloquent. Whatever it no, was. I think was this is very awesome. important because there's a lot of people who are stuck in jobs, mm -hmm. or maybe they're. Uh, well, they're not really. Nobody's really stuck in jobs. They right. choose they to be choose stuck to be in them. jobs, right? Yeah. Because of familiarity. It's like you guys been there so long, mm -hmm. y you know everything about it, right? And just the thought of like the uncertainty of stepping out of that, yeah. right? And I think people hearing this would really help them say, hey, how, how, if, if, I, if I'm looking for something else, you know, what is the step to, do I really burn the boat and just go, you know? Or, or? Actually, I would say no, 
<laughs> like, no, seriously. I mean, just, just in general, like somebody is just, I'm unhappy and I don't know what to do. I wouldn't say, well, just quit your job. Like you don't have a plan. You don't know what you're doing. And I don't know what your belief system is because something that I, I share with a lot of people, and it's funny because sometimes Christina and I will talk about this. And she's like, I don't agree with you at all. <laughs> um, but I think that, especially in America, um, people are programmed to be that way. Like we're so dependent on our jobs and we're like through media, social influence, all that kind of stuff. We're, we're programmed like for instant gratification. We're programmed to live check to check, to live to our means. So if we make more money, we spend more money. So you're telling, telling people to stay there? Oh, well, I'm telling people to... For now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling people essentially to... For, for 22 to years. Have, yeah, for <laughs> Just stay there for 22 to, years. To have a plan. No, so, well, I would say learn from, from my mistake because I, I was in that for a long time. Like a really long time. I, I live check to check. I've been through four houses, um, won some, lost some. Um, like all of the stereotypical things that, that Americans are like, here's your American dream. And I say now, like it's an old George Carlin quote, but uh, he said, um, they call it the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Mm. Um, and it, it's, I feel like it's so, so true. So I, what I would tell people is start focusing. I know that's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Say it again, so I don't mess it up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, well, I'm going to credit George Carlin again. Um, He says, uh, it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Okay. So. Write that down. (laughs) Yeah, so write that down, everybody. Um, So, so yeah, like, I I think that that's the first step is, is actually analyzing and accepting that and that that's not reality because another thing that we're really programmed hardcore on is healthcare. Like you have to, you have to have health insurance and now they've even made it a rule. Like I quit my job, so I don't have a job, which means I don't have healthcare. So next year or this year, whatever it was like, I'm actually gonna have to pay because I don't have healthcare. So in theory, if I couldn't afford healthcare and I can't pay for it, then I have to pay for not having it. How, how's that logic <laughs> work at all? It doesn't make that any doesn't sense. Make we have sense, anything no. like that in the UK. What's that? We don't do we? Healthcare or NHS or something. Uh, well, it's, it's free, right? It's free in oh. Canada too. We have free but see, in the US, but that's and, and that's the thing. It's a huge dependency. Like, or people, it's a perception of dependency because of the way the system is built on how to get healthcare. And a lot of times, like, if you do actually require healthcare, and that's a thing I would tell people, like, you don't actually need as much healthcare as you think you do. A lot of people are programmed. You go to the doctor and the doctor says, what's your problem? And, and you give them some symptom and they're like, oh, here's some drugs, take these. And people believe that they need it because the doctor gave it to them. Mm. It's so interesting that we're like on the same path now, but we're coming from really different ways of thinking. Exactly. <laughs> Very different ways of thinking. It's, what was but that? She's, yeah, <laughs> she, she, what does that mean? She doesn't, <laughs> see, she doesn't see it the way they were. But we've, we've lived completely different lives. That's really funny. And, that's, yeah. that, that took a second to, hey, what was she? What was she? Yeah. <laughs> Is, is, is that how it is? I don't agree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was still so nice. It, yeah, she's amazing, isn't she? She's so good. You're, you're be so I went great to the School stage. of Human Resources where we learn how to do these things with words and it's just natural. <laughs> yes, it's great. <laughs> but I, I bring all that up to say that um, you really need to, uh, at least in America, you really need to check yourself, like check your surroundings and figure out like analyze your life first because we didn't do this just so were you analyzing for 22 years no 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 no, no, no. i was learning the hard way right i was learning it the hard way but again like i got i I reached that point where i i began seeking again and i was like there's got to be a better way because i had reached the ceiling of where i was Mm. and i was like okay uh, that's good x you know it was was six so basically lacking a, a a sense of growth Right, that was part and of it. Human needs is growth. Yeah, yeah. Growth, it was definitely was, contribution. Yes, definitely. Things, yeah. Like oh. almost all of them, because mm. like I said, I just wasn't happy, mm-hmm. and and instead of focusing on the things that I did have, mm. I found myself focusing on the things that I don't like. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't like my commute. I don't like the requirement of my hours, and I'm better than this, and I'm smarter than this, and I knew that I could do more. I knew. Well, I, I guess it's pushed you out of it, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 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 wait there. I just want to rewind a second because you, you first of all you told people who don't like their job to not quit. So so not quit immediately. So have so a quit plan. tomorrow. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe on. next what's week. That, yeah, <laughs> save a check. Make sure you can pay the bills next month kind of thing, you know, whatever it is. No, I mean, so y- you, the, the first thing was there was a lot of self-analysis on my part. I, I really dug deep, like, what is it that I want? What do I want to do? What do I want to be? Um, and, and but do you, do you think people really find out until they, they take the step? Part of it, no, they so, don't. So what do you want no, to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so part of it is no. So. Well, you, well, that's why I say you got to have a plan. You have to know what you want to do. But people don't. You have right? an, you have to have an idea, even if it's just a dream. You have to have an idea, like and believe 
that it's possible. That's the first thing. Believe it as possible. Second one, do what I did. Find a coach, right? I mean, someone that you resonate with. <laughs> You've got to find a coach that has the results that you want. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so for him, it's kind of like, no, he had no idea. It's just somebody told him to quit his job. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was thinking about You it. know trying, my story is a little deeper trying, than that. <laughs> trying for step one, but it didn't work. So I'm just going to follow what this guy said. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, it, it's it, a lot of repetition. You, you, um, you, I figured out dabbling was not, gonna get me where i wanted mm. to to be and what i found was all of the people giving me advice and saying well create a side hustle like uh, I, I say no wrong yeah. side hustles moronic uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it you're never gonna a- explode when all of your prime energy is focused on your job that's the thing mm. yeah. and that was like i think my biggest revelation when i decided i'm gonna change and i have to enforce change because i, I recognize that my best hours i'm giving to somebody else mm. and they're mm. not her mm. It's just some nameless, faceless entity, right? I mean, again, great job, but if I leave, do they care? Mm. I mean, do they really care? If something happens to me, do they really care? They're going to take care of me they the rest of my life? Like, so that's the reality of it. They, they need to don't. put some sad they music don't, over yeah. this yeah. <laughs> 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 It's true, though. Okay, Christina, how do you disagree, please? Oh my God. <laughs> how and why do you disagree, please? <laughs> Well, again, I think in the end, we're, we're on the same path, and we agree that you have to make the decision for yourself to follow your heart. Um, you have, you know, kind of the three main areas of, of your life. And it's going to be, um, you know, your mind, your body, your spirit. And, and how are you, and what is it that needs to come together? So part of this is going to be, so I agree with him in terms of putting your health first so that you can feel better, so you have the energy, so that you can get through it. Because when you don't have that, you have fatigue and depression and poor eating and all of those things that don't allow you to push forward. So I think it's it's having all of those, understanding how important they are and having all of the elements together. So mm-hmm. there's the health part. So I think that was one thing that you, you really, really worked hard on your health. Where we disagree on the health side is, I think there's some sacrifices that need to be made in order to get to the big goal yeah. in anything. Mm-hmm. So right now, if the government wants to charge, they want everyone to have health care in some way, shape, or form. And so if you're going to be charged some amount for not buying into having health care so that everyone in the U.S. can have health care, that's the sacrifice you choose to make because you're not on the exchange. So that's where you and I disagree a bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a debate I, I, here I, now. I can't, so, yeah. so, so, I can't so reply because we're so, not so going to get into politics. Power couple. <laughs> <laughs> Both are equally powerful. <laughs> this is not that's the side I usually is. see. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that's the part where it comes to, you know, our politics may not necessarily be aligned in that area. But in the end, it's about making sure that you're being healthy for yourself so that you have the energy that you need in order to be able to live life and live your best life. And then, you know, having your mind and your spirit and making sure that you're making time for that. So for me, I had a wonderful job and I was able to contribute. I still had politics, but I knew that there were there was more there were more people that I could that I could help and if I was going to sacrifice I needed to find my way of being able to do that I love going to work I love being able to pay my bills I I mean those are the things that from how I grew up to me I have great pride in being able to pay my bills I have great pride mm-hmm. in being able to say I'm going into work and so now being able to create my own schedule to say all right I'm going to wake up at 6.30 and I'm going to spend two hours to devote to myself to do yoga and to do meditation. Whereas before, and this was more a me thing that I had to correct is putting myself first. Mm-hmm. So I'd get up and I would do for everyone else and I'd go through my day and I'd give all that I could. And then I'd still all the, do the things at home. And then, you know, luckily I'm a good sleeper. So <laughs> <laughs> I can knock out. An and then, But as soon sleeper. as I wake up, my mind is running, 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 running. So in this life now that I've created for myself, you know, I've always said when I would meet with different employees is, you know, good people have options. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that is in any place that you you are in life. So Mm. you have options. I had options and I needed to kind of take a record of what my options were and and make a move Mm. for Mm -hmm. myself. So it's kind of like that story you tell that until it's until it hurts enough mm. until then someone won't make a move it's like yeah. until until true. you're ready yeah. you're not going to 
press forward to make that decision. So I do think that there's some preparedness you need to make to set yourself up for success. Mm -hmm. And that's where we agree in terms of planning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to understand what is it that's important to you and what is it that you want. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're prepared. Make sure that you have the finances so that you can be successful. Make sure that your health, that you have a surrounding community, right? I mean, wait, 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 when you say make sure you have the finances to to make sure you're ready. I mean, what what, what does that mean? Because um, I mean, reality is most people are broke, right? Most yeah. people, yeah. Are, most people mm -hmm. don't have money. Mm -hmm. So, and they've probably gone through how many years in their job not having money. And that was the reason why I say don't just quit. Uh -huh. um, so, 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 so when will they have money though? When will they have money to quit? But I think this is a part of what they need to dig into in terms of their mind. Right. Like what is it, you're spending money somehow. Mm. Somehow you're eating, maybe you're going to grab a pizza, mm. maybe a drink. Those are things and habits that need to be evaluated because where's your money going? Mm. Somehow you're working and what are you doing with it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Because if those are the things that bring you enjoyment, you can't have both. Mm. At some point you need to make a decision of, I want better and more for myself. That means that you need to look at what you're doing. You let go of something and more will come in. That's just how it works. Mm. And so I think for us, it's, you know, we let go of something and yes, it's unnerving. Yes, it's so scary. Scary, yeah. But the exciting part of what's to come. So having that, knowing what it is that you're working toward or that you want, mm. that is what keeps you going, right? That is what keeps you not wanting to same old, same old Friday, let's go grab pizza and beer. Mm. No, I have something more I'm working toward. Mm. Oh, this is really hard. Oh, my mom just said <laughs> it's okay if you give up. No, that you know what you're working for and that keeps you so motivated to know that yes, you're learning and it's gonna be a bit of a struggle and it's gonna be scary and then you're gonna do something and you're gonna wonder, gosh, was that good? Right after your webinar, were you not like, oh, was it good? I don't know, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, definitely. Because it's so new. I know. That yeah. was us yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, because, because it's so okay? new, like you're just, you're just <laughs> unsure. But from that, like the comfort zone, getting out of your comfort zone, I mean, yeah. it's, we say it, right? You teach these things, <laughs> But when you experience it, it's something different, yeah, right? Totally. When they yeah. say you get out of your comfort zone, and that's not just like, ah, oh, I'm going to wear a different shirt today than what I normally want to wear. Like really, really putting yourself out there in such a way that you're so vulnerable, that's where the magic happens. Because you're letting go, more is going to come in, you're exposing yourself in such a way, and greatness will come. I'm yeah, still, I'm still waiting for that with our, our, our dance sequence. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I can so so relate to what you guys are talking about now. Oh, with the of dance. Zone. <laughs> oh. oh, two weeks of dance sessions with Nishma. It's kind of like, oh, what is going on? It's like, okay, just move this arm this way and this one. And it's like, no, this arm, no, the other arm. It's like, no, the other leg. It's like, where are you turning? Stop turning. There. <laughs> um, speaking of dance, actually, um, to go back to what I was. You want to take them for a dance session? Huh? No, 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 no. I just now. <laughs> <laughs> we Let's could. Do it, babe. Let's do it right now. <laughs> no, um, what actually? Um, the reason why I actually stopped. Um, you know going to dance was what what you were talking about you know you you have a great job like ev like all the people would love to be in your position right like i had the same thing when, when i was leading the dance class and people were you know out there looking oh my god like people would actually be love to be in your position mm -hmm. like actually you know managing all this dance like you have so many students you can teach them and you know you're managing all this big company but the reason i wasn't happy and i'm I knew previously, like, it seemed like I was blaming the whole situation, but actually that's not true. It was all coming from within. Like, I felt like I wasn't growing, even though it's like I'm in the best position. Like, you know, I'm able to travel to L.A., like different cities and perform. And I'm like, wow, it seems like I'm living the best life with like being in this dance company. But inside, I felt like I wasn't growing. Like, yeah, I'm teaching the mm -hmm. students, but I'm not growing myself. Yes, I'm a teacher, but like, how do I make sure that I grow in order to make sure that the students also grow? Like, I'm teaching them the mm -hmm. same thing, but I felt like there was a point where I'm like, it's like flatline. I don't know what else to teach. Like, my, my creativity level was just like not, yeah. you know, improving. So that's where I, I was like, I need to take a step back. Like, I think I, this is a, mm -hmm. I think there's a I big takeaway for everybody mm -hmm. because there's yeah. a lot of people stuck. A lot yeah. of people in that situation, and they just, because of familiarity, they, they, the same qualifications thing. are there, they've been doing the same thing, they're used to it, it pays well. Actually, yeah. that's, that's the most, that's the worst thing, really. Yeah. <laughs> if it pays yeah. well, it doesn't give you, you, you can't find an excuse it's to leave it. Right, it, it, it's, like, it's a lot tougher. Yeah. It, yeah. it is. It like even tougher, yeah. It, it's a huge comfort, like all that income. And then, and then just to think, not even to think like, I remember thinking, would I do something else and take less money? And I was like, no, like, why <laughs> would I do that? Um, 
And then just to consider like, okay, no money, like just quit and not have another job yeah. and just do no money. Like, what are we going to do? Um, yeah, it's, it's huge, but like, but, 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 but I think another thing that, that Nishma just said before was, um, and a lot of people say this, you said the same thing. Actually, I, I think the same thing when I was doing restaurant business, that was, that wasn't job, but still I was, I, I used to say when I was doing restaurant business, I opened multiple restaurants, had a franchise and people would love to be in that position. Mm -hmm. But I think one thing to get straight for everybody is to understand that normal people would love to be in that position. Right. right? Mm -hmm. yep. right? Yeah. Right? Because it's not, you, you can speak to me and say, hey, would you like to be in my, my position? No, actually, I wouldn't have liked to be in your position or your position before. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Yep. It's like, oh, everybody likes to be in my, no. Because at that time, that is your network. That is your tribe. Mm -hmm. That is the people who are saying, wow, you're doing so amazing. And that's what I had as well. All my friends were still in, in college and university. I already had four or five restaurants, like driving a BMW, having a nice house, traveling around the world. And, you know, so mm -hmm. in my, my world, it's like, oh, everybody wants want wants that but actually it's not true when when the network changes then you start realizing actually nobody wants to be in, the, in yeah. the, exactly in the, yeah, and like so it's something that you were talking about too really resonated with me and I, and I just felt like i have to bring this up at some point um because i know there's a lot of people who will struggle with that um and it, it actually resonated when i was here like at wealth yogi so I got some feedback from other wealth yogis, just their opinion or their perception of me. Mm -hmm. And it blew me away. And I realized like, well, they don't know me. So they only see me in this one light and they're like, oh my God, you're amazing at X, Y, Z. And I was like, really? I just started. <laughs> um, I don't think that. Um, but what a, a lot of people I don't think would know, I know you don't know. I don't think y you might know, um, but I, I, I would imagine most people who watching don't know this, but there was a time that I used to weigh over 260 pounds. Hmm. And that was a really tough, really dark time in my life. Mm -hmm. But like the, I think the end message is what you just said about your tribe is the most important thing. And so I, I got to that point. There was a lot of depression and life circumstances involved. But when you get there, you're surrounded by, you don't even realize this, but you're surrounded by people who are convincing me like you, you worked hard. You deserve that cheesecake. You know what I mean? You deserve to drink a gallon of soda if you want to. <laughs> And then you make yourself, oh yeah, that's but, right. But <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, and and it and it feels good, and it's and it's super super. But that's tough. the tribe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It it absolutely yeah. is. But it that when you so get true. to that point, and, though, and it's, it's so, so hard to break because yeah. food. Like, I I, I always tell people like, I almost wish I had a drug addiction or an alcohol addiction instead because you don't need either one of those to survive. I can never stop eating. So every single day, even now, even in this state, every single day is a challenge. Every day. It's tough. <laughs> what, what's a fast is for him? <laughs> <laughs> what a fast? You should do it with me. Oh, crap. <laughs> what did I just <laughs> sign up <laughs> for? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. It was, it was fun. Like after three days. I don't days, believe you. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, after three days, you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm used to it now. I just don't want food. But anyway, body. where's the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was it about cheesecake in a movie? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, but no, after the three-day water fast, I was like, where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, yeah, I had a lot of chocolates after that. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, moving on. So the people that you surround yourself with are everything, absolutely everything. And I know a lot of a lot of circles say this, and I know I've heard you say it, um, and we preach it yeah. as well. But yeah. like I, I've actually broken it down to um, you know if if you don't have, or do you have at least five people around you that are pushing you to be better? Yeah. If you mm -hmm. don't you don't have you either don't have a tribe or you have the wrong tribe because they should be elevating you and the reality is that probably won't last because if you're anything like it me, shouldn't if you if yeah. you keep improving your tribe should always should change, change. Yeah. 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 Should change yeah. and i try now like i try to surround myself with people who are more successful than me which is difficult for my psyche because i'm so hard on myself <laughs> I'm, I'm like a lifetime perfectionist and i'm breaking I that i can relate find, to that <laughs> definitely find a bit of both yeah. Yeah. Okay. These people are better than me. Okay. You two are not as good as me. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, come make me feel better about myself. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays are hard to guys. Right? Just to be my ego. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I totally agree. Like your tribe is your vibe. You know. So which is which is really cool. Now we're surrounded by this um, <laughs> successful people and you know positive people, and we're getting influenced by that. So, yeah. yep. and sure. uh, I'm pretty sure you guys agree with that too. 
right? So we've had a long conversation today. Really, really <laughs> cool conversation. Great to know a lot of things about you and Christina. Want to know more? <laughs> <laughs> more if you guys like to know more, <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comments below. <laughs> but guys, I think we've come to the end of this podcast show. Um, if you guys want to know more, uh, just let us know in the comments below. We'll come up with more uh, fun stuff to talk about in the next podcast show. So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to like, comment, and share this video if you like it. And we'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye for now. Namaste. <laughs>